Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. So today I want to talk about earthly riches. And uh, people will say you need to be rich and make it in this life. And that's not true because if you look at our Messiah, he had nothing. The disciples, they had nothing. Our people, they were walking around and served and taught the word with nothing. They didn't charge for it. They didn't ask for it. They just taught and were poor. And let's start in verse 7 of Proverbs 13. It says, there is that makes himself rich, yet has nothing. There is that makes himself poor, yet has great riches. Now, you might say, well, what does that mean? That makes no sense. That's super confusing. How is he rich but yet poor and poor but yet rich? Well, it's a way because they were not talking about riches of this earth, but riches in the kingdom to come. Yahushua said we need to store up treasures, and we can do that by teaching, by bringing the kingdom. Yahuwah will bless us and give us riches in the kingdom. So if we worship money and work for that money and try to strive for all this worldly stuff, then we're not going to strive for Yahuwah. But if we are striving for Yahuwah, we can make earthly, we can make heavenly riches. We can have the kingdom riches. But we are poor on this earth, but we will be rich in the Shamayim. Because if we make ourselves rich, we will have nothing in the Shamayim. And then in verse 11 it says, Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathers by labor shall increase. He says that if, you, if you're vain, if you're doing things evilly, if you are gaining stuff of this world, it will all be gone away. And the end, when you are judged, when you are sitting there on the judgment seat in front of Yahuwah, he will, he will, you will, where will your money be? It will not help you. You cannot buy your way out of this. But those who are serving, those who are obeying, those who are not worshiping money, they will have their earthly riches. And Yahuwah will say, enter, and then he'll show you your riches. Like, this is for you. So you do not want to be judged because of you serving money. Do not serve money. Do not do what you're doing for money. Do not lie for money. Do not do anything for money because we are not supposed to be looking for earthly riches. All right, everyone. Shalom.